violence and deadly school shootings over the past few years is horrifying. It means every school district in New York and across the country must plan for the unthinkable. I announced auditors from the Comptroller's Office would look at the programs New York has in place to keep our children and school personnel safe and see if these programs are working. We focused on implementation of the Safe Schools Against Violence in Education Act, commonly known as the SAVE Act. This law requires schools to adopt safety plans covering safe evacuation, communication in emergencies, building access for first responders, and training for staff. We looked at schools both upstate and downstate. While we found that some schools get a passing grade, far too many need to go back and do their homework to ensure compliance with the law's requirements. For example, some safety plans had wrong or incomplete information. Some schools have yet to designate someone to lead the effort and have not sufficiently defined responsibilities for school safety. Some districts did not include specifics on how they would collaborate with local law enforcement, and many did not seek the required public input. Some schools failed to conduct emergency drills or train staff, and a small handful of schools had no emergency plans in place at all. In New York City, we found some outdated school floor plans on file with the Education Department. We found the State Education Department needs to devote more staff and resources to help make sure emergency plans meet the requirements. Action is needed. New York schools must be better prepared for emergencies and violent incidents. The safety of our school children and school staff must be a top priority for us all.